Hi guys, we are here for social studies. Um, and if you remember from yesterday, we read um, a little bit about the different types of jobs that people do and how their jobs um, often will provide us services. But there's different, there's so many different types of jobs. And for our social studies this week, you are researching, researching different types of jobs and maybe one that you would like to be when you grow up or just one that you want to know more about. And remember, you're going to tell me three facts about that job and three opinions about it also, okay? Um, so I'm going to tell you about, or I'm going to give you the information about two more types of jobs today. So one, I'm gonna read you a story and another one I'm gonna send mom and dad's a video for you to watch, okay? So the first story I'm gonna read you about is a, they're both women today, which is so interesting um, because there's still jobs that you might wanna do, right? It's just someone else that's doing them. So the first job that I wanna tell you about today is um, about a woman, her name is Jane Goodall and she's an anthropologist and um, a primatologist. Um, so she's a scientist and the type of science that she studies is um, human nature and the way we, um, relate to other animals and how we um, work as a society and um, what it's like being around um, those other animals as well. And she, because of that, she ended up studying um, specifically chimpanzees and, um, and, uh, and primates. And she became a leading, leading um, mind in in science and in the study of primates. And it is so amazing the work that she does. I know you're gonna love it. So let's read all about Jane Goodall. Okay, let's make this nice and big. Can I make this even bigger? There we go, Jane Goodall. So you see her shaking hands with um, a chimpanzee, right? Champion for chimpanzees. Meet Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall has the coolest job on earth. Now I'm gonna pause. The person that wrote that, do you think that's a fact or an opinion? Jane Goodall has the coolest job on earth. That is an opinion, right? The person that wrote this, that's their opinion. And they believe that which is why they wanted to write this story for us to find out more about Jane Goodall and why it's so cool. Now, are you going to agree with them and think it's the coolest job on earth? Or are you gonna say, my opinion is that it's not the coolest job on earth. That's for you to decide, it's your opinion. So, she gets to work outside, that's a fact. She travels all around the world, that's a fact. And best of all, her coworkers are chimpanzees. Now that's also a fact. For more than 50 years, Goodall has studied chimps, an abbreviation for the long word chimpanzees. She has made amazing discoveries and she has spent her life trying to protect these amazing animals in the wild. Also a fact. And there she is studying the chimpanzees right next to each other. Jane Goodall was born on April 3rd 1934 in London, England. Do you think that's a fact or do you think that's an opinion? Fact, absolutely. When she was five, her family moved to a town by the sea. Jane loved exploring outside. Even as a child, she loved animals. Now here's um, England, right? The green right up here. And here's London, a small, and the, here's a sm small town, Bournemouth, the town that she grew up in right? And if you zoom out, right, this picture here shows us where England is, and over here where these letters are, that shows us where we live in the United States. England is on the continent of Europe. Okay, Jane's family had a chicken coop in their yard. Once, when she was young, Jane sat in the coop for four hours. She was waiting to see an egg hatch. Jane knew she wanted to work with animals someday. So even at a young age, she knew. And look at little baby Jane with a stuffed chimpanzee. Jane also knew that she wanted to travel to Africa. She had read about it in her favorite stories. At that time, it was very rare for a woman to travel to faraway places, right? Remember in social studies yesterday, we talked about then and now. Look at the picture. This was a long time ago, right? She was a pioneer. That means she made it easier for other people to do this type of job, especially women. 
at that time, it was very rare for a woman to travel pl to faraway places. So not common, right? It was unusual, right? After high school, Jane became a secretary. It was a way to earn money. So she got a job where she could make money, but it was not Jane's dream. So she got a job that way she could have money, but she knew she wanted another job. A dream come true. Then when she was 23, something amazing happened to Goodall. Her high school friend had moved to Africa. She lived in a country called Kenya. The friend invited Goodall to visit. One of her dreams was coming true. Soon Goodall met the famous scientist, Dr. Lewis Leakey. He was getting ready to start a study of chimpanzees. He gave Goodall a job as his secretary. So there's another fact. We're learning out information about how this happened. Before long, Leakey noticed her interest in animals. He changed her job. Now, Goodall's job would be to study chimpanzees. But first, Leakey needed to raise money to pay for his study. That way they could afford to be over there and doing those things. In the meantime, Goodall went back to England while they were raising money so that they could do that, so that they could study chimpanzees. Whenever she had time, she observed the zoo's chimpanzee, right? That, that S, um, apostrophe S, right? Remember we talked about that apostrophe S will sometimes stand for a bandit, take out a word, or other times it means that they belong to, right? The chimpanzees belong to the zoo. They go to the zoo. When she had time, she observed the zoo's chimpanzees. Two years later, Goodall returned to Africa. Dr. Leakey got the money he needed. It was time for Goodall to start studying the chimpanzees. Her life's work was beginning. Living with chimps. At first, the chimps did not let Goodall get close. They've never had people try and do this before, right? She had to observe them from a far off hill. She started to use bananas to win over one chimp. He was a male. She had named him David Greybeard, the other chimpanzees that David trusted Goodall. So they began to trust her too. Goodall spent all of her time with the chimpanzees. She saw chimps using sticks to dig for termites. Before her discovery, people thought only humans used tools. Goodall also saw chimpanzees eating meat as well as plants. Scientists had always thought that they were vegetarians. These discoveries made Goodall famous. So she found out two things that people had thought wrong beforehand about chimpanzees. She's finding out new information. Goodall's life was busy. She married a wildlife photographer, someone who takes pictures, a photograph, a photographer, a person who takes pictures, who photographs, and they had a son. She also got a college degree and wrote a book. When her first marriage ended, Goodall married again. The whole time, she kept studying chimps. And now here is an image of Jane Goodall now, right? The other ones were then, right? At the beginning of her career when all this was happening. Goodall worked with chimpanzees for many years. She began to see that she needed to do more than study them. Chimpanzees are an endangered species. Goodall wanted to protect them. And in 1977, she created the Jane Goodall Institute. Its goal is to study and protect chimpanzees and their habitat. In 1991, Goodall created a group just for children. It is called Roots and Shoots. Roots and Shoots teaches children to care for their environment, their communities, and animals. All around the world, its members are making a difference. Jane Goodall is in her 80s. She is still working hard for chimpanzees and for our planet. She says, every individual matters. Every individual has a role to play. Every individual makes a difference. And we have a choice. What sort of difference do we want to make? Can we make the world a better place? 
or do we not want to make the world a better place? Jane Goodall. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed listening to all about um, Jane Goodall and um, are intrigued about what her job was, right? So she provide, she was a scientist and she provided a service to learn more about, um, about chimpanzees. And when scientists study information, it helps other scientists figure out what to do with that information. So um, there's amazing, there's so many different types of scientists. And the video that I'm going to send you guys uh, or send to mom and dads for you to watch is about a different type of scientist. And um, her name is, her name is Catherine. I'm sorry, my computer's being silly here. Her name is Katherine Johnson. And Katherine Johnson um, was a special type of scientist. She was actually a mathematician, but math and science can be very close related. And what she did is she loved numbers and loved math since she was a young girl. And because she was so great and that using her numbers, she was able to create equations, like really, really complex um, equations and study the way that spaceships would leave Earth and go to outer space and how they should return and the way that they should travel. And she was able to use numbers to figure all of that out. So she was a, an amazing mathematician that used numbers to become um, a space, to work for NASA and become um, a scientist, a, math, a research mathematician for NASA. So she worked and helped astronauts get to outer space. The first astronauts that went to outer space couldn't have done it without her help. So I'm going to send mom and daddy, mom and dad's a video about Katherine Johnson, and you can see all about her and see if that's a different type of science that you're interested in too, because there's so many things out there that are so cool. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about Jane Goodall, and I know you're going to enjoy hearing about Katherine Johnson, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.